Yeah, my initial boy, Young Philly, and this is 10 things I can't live without. GQ didn't give me an invite, so I'm doing my own. So, Con. Nah, but uh, why do you take Yeah, my brother, fam. The more time they know it's you. You see, when they see a nice setting, they know it's you. Who else is it gonna be? Genuinely, they actually know it's you. So, Con. Bags. Very much into them. We've got a couple. And there's two in particular about my bag collections that I love and I can't live without. I just feel like they're great for accessorizing. And yeah, I feel like they just bring out certain outfits, certain deals. This one's special to me because this was my first ever gift from Chunks. I remember this year we committed to actually buying each other presents and he gave me a budget. What did I get him? I think I got him an LV suitcase. He always wanted one and I got it for him. But this is my favorite one. So once you um, shop a lot in Goyard, <laughs> they start looking after you and offer you other little bags that other people don't have. And apparently this one's limited edition and a lot of people in the world don't have this all because of this little thing here. Can you believe that? How stupid is that? Can I be honest? This, this is a confession. My bag's always empty. My phone's always in my hand. I don't carry a wallet because I've got Apple Pay. Like, I find, wait, this is a fact. I find things to put in the bag. Putting a pair of socks before to fill it up. Like, look, look, look. I says, you know, I'm not lying. Why do I need that in there? Why do I need this in a bag, on? But it just makes it look more fuller and nicer. So yeah, I just cheat it. I just use bags a lot of the time for accessories rather than to hold stuff. The second item I can't live without is sardines. Not any sardines, John West, and with this ones are boneless. I actually don't mind the bones ones as well. But yeah, man, this is something I grew up on. I wasn't always in a fortunate position that I'm in now. And this was one of our struggle meals, as well as like ketchup and rice. I know it sounds mad, but at the time it went off. So yeah, this is one of the struggle meals that just stuck with me. And up till now, I just find super nice and it's got a lot of protein. I'm a gym man now, so it actually works in my favor. But yeah, John West sardines. I grew up on these still, and they just stuck with me forever and ever and ever. Next up, a control pad and a racing wheel. If you know me, you know that I absolutely love F1. Yeah, I feel like when you watch the cars fly around the track, you just picture yourself in one of them, even though it's probably never, well, it's never gonna happen. So yeah, the closest thing that I can experience to being an F1 driver is having a racing sim, and I've got one, and it's absolutely amazing, it's sick. You feel loads of like force feedback on it. Sometimes like to the point it's so powerful, like it makes you go like that, it hurts your back, your arms. So yeah, I would just sum this up with just gaming in general. And with gaming in general, it's my Twitch channel, which you should follow me on, at Young Philly. But yeah, just gaming, I've got a a whole room dedicated to just games, like two computers, a PlayStation, an Xbox, Nintendo Switch, a racing sim, this is fun. All right, next up, smells. When I said I wanted to talk about my smells, some people behind the camera was a little bit shocked that I bring some of my favorites, but I don't think it's that deep. I also think sharing is caring. So yeah, these are some of my favorite smells. I don't know how to pronounce this one. Hey, let, me sit, let me sit, This one is called Rose Rose Prick, and this one is Gris Dior. Amazing smells. Interesting fact, I spray all three of these at the same time. I've never sprayed one perfume or aftershave just on its own. Like, three is minimum for me. The reason I spray three at a time is because my good friend Chunks is the best smelling human being I have met on this planet. It would get to the point where me and Chunks would turn up to a set and he would hug someone. I would hug someone before and then Chunks would go in for the hug and he'd be like, oh my God, you smell so good. And then it, I wanted to get received that compliment. I'm like, rah, I'm not saying I stink, but like the difference was clear. So yeah, I just started doing my research. I then would then go past random people and like, I don't know, it could be in public, a restaurant, a waitress could have one on. Like this is a woman's one. This is actually not made for men, but I don't give a damn. If it smells good, I'll wear it. I think this one's unisex and I think this one's for men. So. All right, smells. Next up is knickers. So I've got an ongoing joke with my stream. Every day on stream, it's an actual fact. I would eat at least two of these. Or one. Very bad for me, because I am now a gym man. I grew up on these. And now, like, at home, I've got, oh, I should have brought the box. I'm so dumb. I should have brought the box. I've got, like, a whole box of them. I was um, seeing someone once, and she knew how much I like knickers. No, not nuts. She knew how much I like knickers. I don't know why I call them knickers as well. Me and my mates have a thing of taking off the first letter of certain words. So yeah, Snickers is another thing I can't live without. What else have we got? All right, next up, an air fryer. 
And it's actually good that I bring this today because I'm going to give it to my mum straight after. But yeah, air fry is super important for me. As I said, I stream every evening on Twitch and a lot of the time I actually don't have the time to cook a decent meal. And I'm just trying to save money too now, you know? Not that I'm like running tight, all glory to God, I'm good. I just realised how much money I spend on delivery. It's not cool. And I'm not Maya Jamal where I got this deal and I just get loads of free food like her. So I need to start saving the pennies to keep on making more pounds. But yeah, air fryer. Then what you want to do is get some potatoes, boil them for about 15 minutes, yeah? I use a bit of thyme, some little chilies, and then I get a bit of all purpose and then honey. Put them in here. Oh, honey roasted potatoes. They go off. Again, to someone it might not be the best meal, but for me and considering I'm trying to do this gym thing right now, it's perfect. And yeah, you can definitely tell I use it. Cut oh, it's a little bit of grease on there. <laughs> yeah, probably should have washed it before I gave it to my mum. Up next, pasta. If you know me, ladies and gentlemen, you know that my favorite food in this whole world is pasta. I cannot live without pasta. I wouldn't say that I eat it every day. Cause it's carb, the carb, the carb. But yeah, absolutely love it. I feel like if I had to survive off one meal for the rest of my life, it would definitely be pasta. All right, I'm actually gonna give you my, my pasta ranking list. I'm gonna go for silly at the top. Then I'm gonna go penne. There's one called macaroni mishmiki. Macaroni could be it. What about the bows? What bows? Bow tie ones. Yeah, mental. Man called them the bow tie pastas. <laughs> 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 Got Jack and Con behind camera, always <laughs> providing a laugh. Man said the bow ties. All right, next up, trainers. One day we need to do a video on my trainer collection. I have, I'd say, 250, 300 pairs of trainers. My favorite pair at the moment is Dunks. Dunks are the best. I really like these at the moment. I feel like LV are bringing out some fire kicks as well. These are super, super clean. And they look so good on my feet because they come up as a size six and a half and I'm a size eight, which is really weird, but you, they come like really small. And the reason I have socks is because you will never catch me in this life wearing thick socks. Like I do love Nike, but I don't like wearing Nike socks because they're all just like mad thick sport socks. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, yeah. The most expensive pair of trainers I'd say I've bought, I'd say that probably the ones I've got on my feet, these ones. But it's, it's probably not even these. It's probably got to be one of these designer ones. And the only reason I say that is because I don't get those for free. But all of like my Dunks and my Jordans, I've actually got those for free. I'd love to do a video one day on my collection. And I've got so much trainers that now on Twitch that I stream every night on at Young Philly, I've started giving away trainers. That I, I do that as giveaways. I pick the ones that I've more, worn maybe once or twice and then I'll just give them away on stream. So if you're size eight and you like to win a pair of trainers, you know where to be every evening. All right, what else? This is like, not just music. These are not a pair of headphones to me. This was like my way of symbolizing music. It's a journey I've been on for quite a long time now. I feel like I've finally gained my respect musically. I've done main stage at Part Life, performed in front of 80,000 people. I've even been booked for wireless and I turned down the booking just because I didn't, I didn't have enough songs out. So I couldn't fulfill the 45 minutes there. It's the only reason I turn it down. Seriously, wireless Birmingham. But well, I just didn't have enough music out at the time. And, I, and even though maybe I could have filled it up in ways like I did at Part Life, I had this guy come out and propose. So like I made my set fun, you know, but yeah, music is something that I love. And yeah, I just can't wait to drop my mixtape. Can't wait to keep on shocking the world of how talented I am in so many different ways. And I feel like the people that I have worked with on my project, I got gets on my project, Dappy, a girl called Ray Becker. I had a song with K-Trap, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on there just cause I don't think my verse is that good. Yeah, so if I do a new verse, then I'll put it on. After this, I'm definitely gonna start working with people, but I think for my first mixtape, I just need to prove to the world and myself, most importantly, I I can do it and just people are haters bruv people are haters like i think it's so important for me to, for my first ever project for it to be me you know yeah man i can't wait to just release it and yeah it's just long because i didn't understand how difficult music was like it's just not as easy as making a song and releasing it there's the business side to it you've got to make sure the producer's happy with the amount of money he's getting which i do i pay the producers there's just a lot to it so yeah music my next one is my phone it's not just any phone i've actually got a new one the iphone uh, 15 pro max uh, one terabyte So yeah, this is this is it. Did I mention it was one TB? I'm not sure if I did, but yeah, this is one terabyte. I forgot to mention how humble you are as a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got it the other day. I'm just super excited. No, but jokes aside, my phone is something I actually can't live without, man. It's like a massive part of my job. You know what I mean? I think as much as I don't like being on socials every day, I kind of have to be in it. I need to like find ways to keep myself relevant, doing on TikTok, doing all these trends and stuff like that. On, how do I check that? Settings and just type in screen time. Might not count on this phone. Where's my other one? Yeah, Instagram three hours. Daily average is seven hours. I've dropped down 22% from last week, whatever that means. On my old phone, my pickups is 154 daily. 
That's quite a lot, isn't it? And the only app I really check is Instagram. And then on my new phone, it's 95, which is quite bad because I've had this for two days. Yeah. This next one, water requires the phone because it's my family. Absolutely love my family. I'm so blessed and fortunate to have them in my life. Yeah, we're also very close. We all work for each other as well. Do you know what I mean? So like my sister runs the events company. Well, to be fair, it's under her name. So it's not even mine no more, is it? <laughs> well, my sister works for her own company that has my name on it. My little sister used to be my tour manager for like music, but now she's working in the events company. And my mum's my PA. So yeah, man, I absolutely love my family. I can't believe we've like come off benefits. We're in this position that we're in now. It's like borderline mind blowing. And I get like moments of like not believing it like that. Like that's my little niece. Like we would have never had a little cute little birthday like that, even though it's something so small, but it's bigger than that. So yeah, I'm super, super blessed to have my family in my life that they love me so much. It's sick. I absolutely love my sisters to bits, especially my niece. And my mum's just like, phew, yeah, I love my mum. You know, sometimes I think about my mum and get emotional. That ain't never happened to you. <laughs> nah, I didn't. No, I love that. Like, let's move on. Look, I've not even said not, I've not even said that in deep. But genuinely, I think about my mum and just think about how much she struggled in her life. And then the other day I walked into a gaff. You know when you want to go buy a sofa and they kind of DIY a front room? That's what my mum's front room looks like now. It's a showroom, it's mental. She's sitting there on the suede sofa, and I'm just like, how have we managed this? She's still got the little dangling light though. <laughs> you know what I mean? She ain't on the spot in lights levels, but we'll get there in God's name, you feel me? But yeah, man, absolutely love my family. And I can't believe that we've all made it this far. To think that five, six years ago, everyone was on benefits is mental to think. Say my proudest achievement. I always say it's retiring my mum, but when I deep it, it's actually helping all of my family. Yeah, sick family. Next up is my car. You might have seen it on Yana Mai, so wrapped it baby blue. Yeah, absolutely love cars. Because I'm in this fortunate position, it means I can get nice ones now. And my first car was an absolute beast as well, you know. I had a GLA 45, like I didn't see a lot of them. Like everyone's got their A45, but I didn't see a lot of GLA 45s. And now I've got a G-Wagon, which is sick. I did take it on a, a car rally. Like I'm fortunate enough to do Gumball 3000. I've done it for like the last two years. And yeah, I did send it in that. I've done about 140, but it wouldn't go more than 140, it was dead. And because like it's a box, it's literally a flying box. Yeah, but the, it means the aerodynamics are crap. So as you're going fast, all here is like just bare air cutting through in ways that it shouldn't be cutting. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, so if I'm being honest, it's actually not the best car for someone like me that likes to go on rallies and drive. You know what I mean? At fast speeds within places that you are allowed to drive at fast speeds at. Do you get what I'm saying? It's actually not the best car. I really want an Aston Martin DBX. I was going to get it before the G-Wagon, but I got really impatient. My car guy just popped up to me. He was like, well, uh, uh, some guy just doesn't want this G-Wagon anymore. So if you want this, and then I got this. And then I tried to contact Dave to give me like this Aston Martin link. Cause remember they done that Jordan 4s or Jordan 1s, Rolex has got more than one. And then, um, yeah, I hit it Dave up so he can give me the Aston Martin link. They didn't reply to me. So yeah, I just went on a website, started building my own. I just saw how long it was going to take. And at the time I was carless and I couldn't be bothered to wait. So I got a G-Wagon. I think that's it. Well, we're done now. I don't know how I've managed to tie my Twitch in with every item that I've rang up here. <laughs> I, don't know. I actually don't know how I've managed to do that, you know. Thank you so much for watching. That was uh, 10 things I can't live without. Maybe 11 or 12, God knows. But yeah, really appreciate everyone watching. Please keep on supporting. I also want to give a massive shout out to Con because without him, consistent Philly would not exist. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe and hit the post notification bell for more videos.